Sean in Novato, California. It's up there in Northern California. Though for some reason, Novato, there was something about it being hot. Maybe it's a little bit inland. I should probably look that stuff up. But anyway, in my addled brain, I remember Novato as being hot, but I also remember it being north of the Golden Gate Bridge. So shows you what I know. Okay. Uh, anyway, Sean says, hey, I wanted to say a kind thank you for doing a video answering an earlier question on why Class D can be so tiny yet produce so much power. I think you under I understand your explanation. Good. Well, <laughs> that makes you in a small minority. <laughs> But one part I don't have is why do class AB amps have a massive transformer and class D amps don't? That's a pretty common question. And so when we talk transformers, well, I don't want to lift up massive. There's a whole bunch of transformers down here. So here's a, this is probably out of a preamplifier. That's a big transformer uh, for a preamp. And then we all do it. All right. This sucker is clearly out of an amp. Ugh. So, the fact that Class D amplifiers don't generally have big transformers has nothing to do with Class D amps. It has to do with the power supply that they use. So when we first started doing Class D amplifiers, way back in the day when we had the... Um, uh, the HCA, the Hybrid Class A Amplifier, was one of the very first Class D amplifiers. We had a big old transformer in it, big transformer, and a conventional power supply, big transformer, and then a tiny little Class D amplifier that put out a lot of watts. And the opposite is true. Many people, many people, a lot of manufacturers today are adding small efficient power supplies to class AB amplifiers. So I'll, I'll explain what's going on. The type of power supply that you use really has little to do with the amplifier class that it's powering. So if we break it down into the two main types of power supplies, you have a classic linear power supply, right? That's a transformer, diode bridge, regulator, all that stuff. That's what this hunk of iron and copper is all about. Then we have what's called a switch mode power supply, which in essence is a class D amplifier by itself. Now, it really isn't, but that's a good way to look at it. So. Most modern Class D amplifiers use a switch mode power supply. And together, they make a very small package. But that same switch mode power supply could easily power a giant Class A, Class AB amplifier. It really doesn't matter. It's just the way things are traditionally done. And I'll give you briefly, here's, here's how a switch mode power supply that you typically find on a Class D amplifier works. A incoming AC is going up and down at 60 or 50 times a second, depending on where you live. In a linear power supply, that moving AC voltage goes into a diode bridge where it's separated out into plus and minus. So you have a plus half that's, and then a minus half, and then you put it through big capacitors and that smooths it all out and we get DC. But at that low frequency, 50 or 60 hertz, we need a lot of big iron or magnetics because the lower the frequency, the bigger you're going to have to have for the transformer. And the opposite is true. The higher the frequency, the smaller the transformer can get to deliver the same amount of energy. So then the big question is, how do you take 60 hertz and convert that into something that's a lot higher frequency. Well, we use something called a chopper. And this is an electronic circuit that goes that chop, 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 chop. It, and it runs at about 100 kilohertz. And it takes a little chop out of the waveform and then a little chop out of this part of the waveform. And it chop, 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 chop. And it makes this higher frequency. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a solid state device. And noisy as hell. Hard to build quietly. 
and that jacks the frequency up to about 100 kilohertz. Then we can put it through a little tiny transformer. Then it goes through the regular stuff, like a diode bridge, like it, you know all the stuff that we would normally have with a power supply. But the key to a switch mode power supply is that chopper in the front where it chops up the, the 60 or 50 hertz into these into a very high frequency that can go through a small transformer. And that power supply can run a class AB amplifier or a class D. Okay? I hope that helps. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>